Hello everyone, this is Bakul Soman. Welcome back to my channel. I have a question for you. Are you tired of having to deal with all the interrupters, the ramblers, the mmmers, the fast talkers? Do you want to give them feedback but you're not sure how to do it without hurting their feelings? If this is you, you can't afford to miss this video. But before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Jennifer Aguilar. She left a beautiful comment about my previous video, Six Tips of Becoming an Effective Speaker. If you missed it, make sure you take a look. She also left a follow-up comment and she was wondering how to go about giving feedback to people who veer off those best practices. So Jennifer, this video is going to be all about that and I hope you like it. All right, so you know who these people are. You want to give them feedback you're not sure how to do it. There are some things you need to consider before you jump headlong into telling them what they're doing wrong. First, is your feedback solicited or unsolicited? Solicited feedback would be when somebody comes up to you and says, hey, I'm giving a speech next week. Can I run it by you and see what you think? Let me know how I can make it better. You're on solid ground. They want your feedback, right? Most of the feedback we give, unfortunately, tends to be of the unsolicited variety. This is where you need to proceed with caution. It's not that you can't give feedback, you have to be careful. You also need to think about what the motivation is behind that feedback. Are you doing it because you really want to help enhance the communication between the two of you? Or are you doing it because you're kind of just trying to point out what the other person is doing wrong and somehow kind of showing how you're better than the other person. If it's the latter, don't say anything. Close your mouth, move on. It's not going to be constructive. It's not going to help your relationship. You also need to think about the trust that is already built into the relationship. If there is a lot of that, then your feedback is going to be better received. Another factor to consider is the power balance. Whoever you're talking to, do you both wield the same amount of power in that relationship or is it very skewed? With friends, siblings, colleagues, the power is pretty equal. If you're talking to a boss or a client, the power is going to be skewed. It's not that you can't give feedback, but you have to be more diplomatic and you have to be more thoughtful about when and how. Another thing to think about is how often that behavior happens. If it's just a once in a while occurrence, of course you're just gonna let it go. But if it's chronic, you do need to address it. Because over time, those little, little breakdowns tend to become a much bigger problem. Okay, here are the questions you need to ask yourself. Should I give feedback? When should I give feedback? How should I give feedback? Well. Let's get started. Here is a visual that really helped me organize my thoughts around this. It is divided into four quadrants and there are two variables, the closeness of the relationship and the stakes of that particular conversation. So in quadrant one, we're talking about a, a high stakes conversation with someone who's very close to you. You're talking to a spouse about relocating, about whether or not to have children, whether or not to get a pet, things that could really impact your life. So should you repair? Yes, absolutely. When should you do it? Right there in the moment during the conversation. You can't afford to get that conversation wrong. How should you do it? You could use either a direct or an indirect, a more diplomatic style, depending on not your preference, but the preference of the person you're talking to their personality. Some people are okay with receiving clear, direct, blunt feedback. Most people, not so much. So you might have to be careful and diplomatic. So that depends on the particular dynamic that you are in. Quadrant two is, let's say the same person, but the specific conversation is not really that important. Which movie to watch, where to go for dinner, something like that. It is important to repair it, but not in the moment, right? In that conversation, you could let it go. 
but you can't let it go every time because over time these little breakdowns these little frustrations build up and become a bigger thing additional layers get appended to it right it's not just about what you're saying it could be about what it implies you don't care about me it's always about you you are not thoughtful you don't love me whatever it is right additional layers get added to it so you do need to repair it but not necessarily in the moment again the style direct or indirect is going to depend on the particular dynamic if you're in quadrant three this is also a high stakes conversation but maybe with a person you don't have a close relationship to so again, it could be part of that power imbalance. It could be a boss, it could be a client. Should you? Yes, absolutely. You need to repair it. In the moment? Yes, in the moment. Probably an indirect style. You have to be diplomatic. Quadrant four, There, I can think of two scenarios for quadrant four. One is you just, you know, it's a random stranger. You're having small talk at a party. Things are not going well move on let it go we have bigger fish to fry but if it is a low stakes conversation in a relationship that's important to you even though it's not close like maybe with your boss you do probably need to think about repairing it but not in the moment and doing it with an indirect style more diplomatically okay so what we did today was we laid the foundation things you have to consider before you jump headlong and give feedback. We have to consider these factors if we want the feedback to do what we intend it to do, which is to enhance the quality of your communication, to foster the relationship. Next time, we're going to go into the specifics of what you could say whether it's a direct style or an indirect style. So don't miss it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all. See you next time.